Mike Tyson's response has been one of the most shocking, as he delivered a scathing retort to Jake Paul for mimicking one of his most controversial moments in the boxing ring, biting an eater. After initially remaining silent about it, Tyson has finally reacted to Jake Paul's mockery, stating, You're my girlfriend. Make you my girlfriend. I'm gonna make Mike my girlfriend. Mike Tyson found the footage extremely disrespectful and impolite, and he didn't hold back any of his words. Recently, he has unleashed an avalanche of insults and intimidating comments towards Jake Paul after another mischievous act from the problem child. Let's dive right in. The baddest man on the planet has been making sure that every single day of the build-up to the bout between himself and Jake Paul would be anything but bland. From posting daily videos to issuing strict warnings and engaging in frequent verbal exchanges, Mike Tyson has approached every moment of this comeback with intense seriousness. Day three, you still want to fuck with me? Mike Tyson has made another appearance on screen, as has become his recent routine. However, this time there's no Rafael Cordo with him, and there's no training session. Instead, Mike Tyson has addressed Jake Paul for the ridiculous video he recently posted, where he chose to use one of Tyson's most regretful boxing moments as a means of mockery. Tyson insulted Paul and confessed that he chose to fight Paul because he believed Paul had repented from being the unskilled content creator. Is here. Oh my goodness, he's got a right. I accepted this challenge to fight a boxer, but I never knew I was hopping in the ring with an unskilled content creator. I thought your victories against Borland and the others, along with your dream of being a world champion, would bring some seriousness. But you're just a joker, son. You're so unskilled and poor at what you do. It's a sad moment for me. And I'll unleash the fury on you. I accepted the challenge to fight a boxer, one who was hungry and passionate about fulfilling many dreams. But what I have now is a YouTuber, and that's quite sad. But I'm coming for you. Mike Tyson went ahead to predict two outcomes of our matchup on July 20th, and both predictions indicate a massive win for Tyson. Tyson predicted that Paul could respond positively to defeat from Tyson, bouncing back by picking Mike Tyson as his hero and trainer to help rebuild his boxing career. Alternatively, Paul could respond so negatively that he quits his boxing career that hasn't even started. There can only be two outcomes of our matchup in the next few months. Either I beat you so much that I end your boxing career completely before it even starts, or I beat you so much that you find me a hero to learn from to have a successful boxing career. I'll either beat you to quit, or I'll beat you to teach you what it takes to be an undisputed world heavyweight. Moving on, Tyson then addressed Jake directly about his recent post. You were to make a post in the build-up to a match against one of the greatest legends of a sport, where you're still an amateur, and the only thing that your uncreative brain could bring up was the memory of the match between me and Evander Holyfield. I fought in 58 matches in my career for almost three decades. I had 50 wins, with 44 knockout victories. Yet, you couldn't bring up memories of any of those in your post. You couldn't imitate my best moments in the ring, but chose to always bring up one of my most painful losses, like you did in your announcement video. You're such a son. In the announcement video, Jake Paul was also seen with an opponent in the ring as well. They took turns to show the match between Tyson and Hollyfield, and the one between him and his partner. Just when Mike Tyson bit Hollyfield's ear in the video, Jake Paul also bit off his partner's ear. Concluding with a brief statement, Tyson indicated his perspective on the matter. Is here. Oh my goodness, he's got a bloody right ear! And not only do I have the honor of fighting one of the two most famous boxers to ever live, not only do I have the honor of fighting one of the two most famous boxers to ever live, but it's also happening live on Netflix. Many have drawn from this statement and have made several speculations. Some speculations have come quite shockingly, while others are very insightful. A fan drew some insights from Jake Paul's statements where he said he was fighting one of the two most famous boxers. According to him, Jake Paul didn't want to give so much praise to Tyson at the expense of his trainer. So even when he was trying to prove Tyson's greatness, he had to underestimate it to make his trainer look better. We know Hollyfield is your trainer, but you didn't need to bring him into this. You underestimate a world champion by bringing in one of his fewest losses. That's sad. Make Mike my girlfriend. Oh.
Can't lack two meals in my world, bitch. I'll fucking kill you. Another individual commented, This is the poorest announcement video I've seen in all my life. Do I need to teach this YouTuber that when you do something like this, it's like a trailer where you show the best parts? You claim he's a legend in the video and all, but you concentrated on one of his losses. Go learn, bro. You're just a lucky YouTuber who's been on the good side of some affluence. The responses from fans shed some light on a statement many other fans and professionals alike never paid attention to. Another fan expressed, one of the two most famous boxers. What's Hollyfield doing in this video, and why honor him better than the main character here? Maybe you couldn't find videos of Tyson vs. Spinks, but that made more sense than this trash you put up. We know Hollyfield has been training you, but let's be honest, in terms of legacy, Hollyfield can't lace Mike Tyson's boots. Many now feel that Jake Paul has been making so many references to the 1997 fight in order to promote his trainer at the expense of Mike Tyson. However, Tyson had more words for Jake Paul, expressing his dissatisfaction with Jake Paul's recent video. He remarked, No statement of mine can perfectly represent the exact way I felt about it, but this is the dumbest and most disgusting video I've ever seen. You've been trying to ridicule me to honor your Dan coach in a match I'll be fighting. You're so dumb, I never knew it was this bad. But guess what, son? This has fueled me more to send you to a content creation class. You, my girlfriend, I'm going to make Mike my girlfriend last two minutes in my world. You love you. Tyson seemed to have cancelled the option of his earlier prediction, where he claimed his win could make Jake Paul look up to him for boxing lessons to revive his career. Now, Jake Paul is left with just one option, to quit boxing after the matchup and take courses on content creation to remain significant in at least one aspect. Tyson then insisted Jake Paul had run out of content ideas. He stated, you clearly don't have enough knowledge of what you do on YouTube. Once I beat you, you'll realize boxing isn't for you, and you'll start going to the place where you ought to be. You'd return to the class. I have nothing more to say to you. My remaining talks will be made with my hands when I beat you in the ring. After that, the Dallas Cowboys will make me a statue for shredding you to pieces. What has surprised many is the similarity of this video and the announcement video of Jake Paul two weeks ago. Many have questioned why Jake has been repeating his contents. He seemed to be out of posting ideas, like Tyson said, right now his is. In his latest announcement video, Jake Paul made some bold statements about the upcoming match and provided additional details. After showcasing footage of Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield, Paul boasted about the significance of the event. Netflix was where we watched movies until now. This is the first ever professional live sport event on Netflix. With Netflix in over 500 million households and over 260 million subscribers, we plan on this being the biggest fight of the 21st century dummy. He expressed excitement about fighting for the first time in Dallas, Texas, anticipating chaos after the announcement. With a touch of humor, he addressed potential critics, saying, Oh, you're mad at me for fighting Mike Tyson. Imagine this, exactly. That's what I thought. July 20th. Be there. Good boy. Paul then included an old video clip of Mike Tyson exchanging words with an opponent. Uh, uh, I think Tyson's got a, Tyson's got a chance. Yes, I do. I, I really think he does. A, I think that he's, he's faster. He's still faster than Jake Paul. I mean, I still see Mike I think Tyson. he's faster too? In a final jab at Mike Tyson, Jake Paul echoed Tyson's own words, declaring, I'm just so glad to step into the ring with one of the most brutal, vicious, and ruthless champions there's ever been. My style is impetuous, my defense is impregnable, and on July 20th, I promise you I'll come out victorious. While Mike Tyson had valid points to make about Jake Paul's taunting video, many have criticized his recent fussiness and questioned why he's engaging in endless back and forth with Jake Paul. To some, Jake Paul is synonymous with controversy, and Tyson shouldn't stoop to his level, but instead focus on his fight. This approach has been deemed unreasonable for a 57-year-old former undisputed world heavyweight champion, as it may not end well for Tyson. One fan commented, The only things I've been impressed by with Tyson lately are his training sessions. Every other thing he does just seems crazy and odd in some type of way. Jeff Mayweather, a prominent member of the Mayweather family and former IBO junior lightweight champion, also weighed in on the antics of Mike Tyson and Jake Paul in the build-up to their matchup, which is still four months away. Compared to Jake Paul, it seems like Tyson believes he's faster too. 
Yeah, he's faster. I feel Mike Tyson and Jake Paul are really going all out for the publicity of this fight, doing everything possible to ensure every moment is engaging. But I'm not sure if that's the right approach. Can't they just have their matchup already? In a similar vein, another fan expressed exhaustion with the buildup, saying, I'm really getting tired of this buildup. Mike Tyson keeps coming up with something new to say. He seems so desperate. Even current boxers don't pull off so many publicity stunts. Their heated face-offs begin a few weeks before their fight, but Tyson and Jake are just acting so naive and desperate. I feel too many cooks spoil the broth. They both should take a step back for some time. An American boxing fan who has found only Tyson's training interesting said, Tyson, only your training videos are enough. You're making a lot of points and sending enough messages with them. I don't think you should add to that by coming to our faces every time to say trash about people. It will ruin your legacy more than a loss against Jake Paul. We respect you so much, but you could just have a little sit back and stick with your trainings. Stop bringing up bad memories of yourself that we've chosen not to remember for so long. One more fan criticized both fighters for doing more than the fight demanded, saying, it's not even a Joshua vs. Fury, and you both are making it look extraordinary. It's a 57-year-old versus a 27-year-old fight. It's like a soccer preseason match, and who goes crazy over a preseason match? Just wake me on July 29th when you're ready to fight, and we'd watch contrastively. However, one fan seemed quite interested in all the drama, stating, Tyson should know that he's got so much influence in boxing to pull out a crowd anywhere in the world. But I'm enjoying what he's doing with Jake Paul. It seems like a Tom and Jerry fight where they both seem to be talking good of each other today, and suddenly they're at loggerheads tomorrow. Really, Jake Paul has successfully brought Disney to boxing. Despite Tyson's recent insults at Jake Paul, many have recalled Tyson's own troubled past, suggesting it may be influencing his behavior. Tyson's tumultuous childhood, marked by frequent arrests and a rough upbringing in high-crime neighborhoods, may still haunt him, leading to his inability to overlook Jake Paul's gimmicks. Tyson's troubled childhood, which included abandonment by his father and a mother who struggled with substance abuse, undoubtedly had a profound impact on him. His experiences, coupled with his own controversial actions in adulthood, contribute to the complexities of his character. <laughs> Hey, 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 Mike, Mike, come on, let's go stop back, there's no worse, man. JetBlue, net flight, boy just got beat up by Mike Tyson, turn that way. Following the incident of biting Hollyfield on both ears and other misconduct, Tyson's boxing license was revoked by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, and he was fined $3 million plus legal fees. However, on appeal, the commission voted 4-1 to one to reinstate Tyson's license on October 18, 1998. Mike Tyson's apparent anger at Jake Paul may stem from reopening a wound that he has since healed from, especially after publicly apologizing to Hollyfield and subsequently forging a friendship with him.